Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day over there. I want to say a big thank you to all the supporters, subscribers, and viewers who have helped out this channel. It really means a lot to me. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. You can grab this free template in the description box below. But before that, please install the font that's used in this game. I'll also include a link to that in the description box below. And if you have any comments or questions about this particular game, you can write them down in the um, comment section below. And I'll definitely take a look at that. And if you have any other suggestions, please do let me know as well. And I'll do my best to um, get back to you on that or create a game around your ideas as well. So we have a brand new game here. It's called Alphabet Soup. You can click on the play button. I'm using a MacBook um, PowerPoint, so mine might look a little different from uh, from your version. Jumping jellyfish. All right, so here we have the um, menu section here. Um, on the left, we have how to play the game. You can read through that later. And on the right, we have how to edit your game. You can also read through that, but we'll go through that together. So I hope you can watch this video until the end to learn how to edit the game for yourself. And if you want to support projects like this, you can click over here and support the channel through this link as well. So let's start the game by clicking on the, um, the spoon here in the bottom right corner. It says start game. So just click that. Now we have the game here. Click on any letters to bring up the Q&A slide. So the student can click on any letter. They can choose any letter you, they want. You can add your text up here, an image to go with your text. And if the student answer correct, click on correct. If they answer wrong, click on wrong. So we'll click on correct. Yummy! And then click on the little girl here to get rid of the Q&A slide. And you give them a star. We'll try it again. Click on any letter. Add your text up here. Add your image over here. Click on wrong. So they don't, they don't get a star because they got it wrong. They could try again. Yummy! Alright, click on the girl to get rid of the QA slide. And you can try again. what happens when you click on wrong. Once they get five correct answer, yes, we won! Um, the little girl will appear and you can go to the next stage. Click on her. And the same process. Just like that. And once they get five stars, once they um, reach five stars, yes, we won! they can go to the next stage. Again, you can add your question up here, add an image here. Yummy! So basically that's how the game work. You have the students choose any alphabet here in the soup. And once 
say uh, the student or the group reaches five stars. Yes, we won! They can move on to the next stage. And if they, uh, you made a mistake, you can erase the star too by clicking on the star. And start all over again. Yes, we won! Okay. Yes, we won! Sweet salty socks. All right, so that is the alphabet soup game. It's quite simple. Um, you can play this in a small group, um, online or one on one with your student. Um, you can edit this game however way you want. You can change the text at the end if you want. Um, it's really up to you. Um, you can change anything you want. You can change the alphabet on the soup as well um, to any letter you um, prefer. It doesn't have to be an alphabet. It could be numbers as well. It could be anything you want. It's very simple. So let's take a look at how we can edit the game for ourselves. So here we have the first slide and um, you can zoom out. Um, your version might be a little different um, if you're using a different type of PowerPoint on a different uh, machine. So, um, but mine is here and I hope you can find your zoom out button to zoom out of your slide. I heard that some teachers had problems finding the Q&A. They had a hard time um, zooming out, um, but mine is here. Once you zoom out of the slide, you can see the Q&A here on the right side of the slide here. So you put your question here. Um, let's say, um, you can say what subject did you have? today like that and then you click on the little image icon here a picture um, graphic here change graphic and right click on that we'll do that again right click scroll down where it says change graphic go to from a file click on that and you can add an image here so we'll add like um, one of these right here and then you can just make it a little bigger a little smaller just hold shift here and I'll make it a little bigger and just move it around just like that. And then let's do another one. And we'll find an image for that. Right click on the change uh, the image here and go to change graphic, choose from a file and we'll put like a book here and just move that around a little bit you can make it a little bigger like that and now you can test it out by hitting the play button have the students choose a letter from the soup subject did you have today and then if they can answer it correctly you can hit the correct button yummy and then hit on the girl again here to get rid of the q a slide and then you can give them a star okay. and if you want to change the letter um, just click on any letter here just like that and you can change it to whatever you want, a letter or a number. It's really up to you. Um, let's say we want to make it into the letter, um, letter C, just like that. And you can see that we have successfully changed it to C here. And you can click on that. Yummy. Yes, we won! 
If the music is too loud for you, um, I usually use um, these um, PowerPoint games online during a lesson. If it's too loud for you, you can um, zoom out and find a little boom box up here. You can disable the, um, the background music completely by lowering the volume, or you can raise it um, to your liking. It's really up to you. All right. Um, I think we covered everything here um, pretty much. If you guys have any questions about this particular PowerPoint game, please don't hesitate to write them down in the comments section below. As always, I'll be including the link to the game in the description box below. Also, don't forget to install the font that's used for the game. And if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy this PowerPoint game. And I hope to see you guys at the next video. As always, I want to say thank you. And I wish you the best of luck in your classes.